16-year-old Amber Gibson and now 20-year-old Connor Gibson, who was 19 at the time. And Connor Gibson has just been found guilty of assault on murder of his 16-year-old sister, Amber Gibson. Now, Amber Gibson and Connor Gibson were took into care at the age of three and seven-year-old. Now, Amber Gibson and Connor Gibson obviously didn't have the best starts in life if they got put into foster care. But you would think with two siblings being put into foster care, they'll be there to look after each other. But things didn't plan out that way, and it didn't end that way either. So Amber and Connor were from Hamilton in South Lanarkshire. And the siblings moved in with Craig and Carol Neven. And they lived with their foster parents for a number of years. On the night of the murder, Connor Gibson was living in sheltered accommodation for homeless people. And he arranged to meet up with his 16-year-old sister to go for a walk. So on Friday, the 26th of November, 2021, when the siblings arranged to meet up to go for a nightly walk, Amber thought she was meeting up with her brother to go for a nice walk together. But what happened that night was unbelievable. Connor took Amber along to some wooded area and went into the woods with her. And he returned from the woods by himself. And as you can see on the CCTV footage, they were walking side by side along the road. And as Connor took her into the wooded area and those two were left by themselves in the woods, Connor attempted to 16-year-old sister. She was found with her pants torn off and she was found dead in the wood. Connor had struck her over the head with a blunt instrument whilst he was trying to Then he strangled her, killing her leaving her in the woods. Connor has seen on CCTV footage, leaving the woods and coming back by himself. Armour's body wasn't discovered until two days later at 10 past 10 in the morning. There's even more twists and turns in this case, which is absolutely disgusting because Armour's body would have been discovered sooner had it not been for Stephen Corrigan. Now, Stephen Corrigan come across Armour's body the morning after she was murdered. But instead of phoning the police and reporting that he just found a young girl with no pants on being murdered in the woods, Stephen Corrigan went across and fondled the dead girl lying on the floor because his DNA was found in 38 separate places of her body. It was found on her breasts and her buttocks where he'd been and she was lying dead in a ditch. Now, what kind of individual would do something like this? If you're walking in the woods and you find a 16-year-old girl dead in a ditch where the pants had already been ripped off and she was lying there dead, that scene would live with you for the rest of your life. But this man, Stephen Corrigan, must have been aroused by what he seen and began fondling the girl and then went on to hide her body in some bushes. And this is how she was not found for two days afterwards. Now, when Stephen Corrigan's DNA was found on the body, he was probably brought in as a suspect as well, but obviously went on to tell them, tell the police what he had actually done. Like I've mentioned, this is one of the most disturbing cases that I've come across because not only did Amber get killed off her brother, then she was found dead. The poor lass didn't have a chance in life when she was put into foster care at the age of three year old and her brother being the elder should have had a duty of care to be looking after his younger sister. But instead, he led her to her death. Now, five months previously, poor Amber was raped and assaulted by Jamie Stars, a 20 year old who lived in Bothwell and this attack happened in his home. But with Amber's evidence and Amber's statement, he was actually convicted at trial. But this is only the tip of the iceberg, and this is only the things that we're beginning to hear from the press and what's actually been happening. But if this are only the things that we're hearing about in the press, I dread to think what happened in poor Amber's early life before she was actually put into care. Hopefully her foster parents give her a very good life, and she was treated well, and she enjoyed her time with her foster parents. And in a short life, she might have had a little bit of happiness with her foster parents. 
But I'm going to go on to talk about Amber and Connor's dad, who is also serving a 10-year sentence for a woman. And he's also been convicted previously for a, a young boy. So if all of these things are coming to light and he's been convicted of these things, I dread to think, like I've just mentioned, what must have happened in Amber's early life for her to be put into care. And she's had this horrendous life and she's been killed by her brother who she must have looked up to as someone that might protect her. And he has betrayed her trust in the most despicable way and doing what he's done to his poor defenseless sister. But I believe Connor is now in HMP Palmont, the young offender prisons. And when I'd done the video on Aaron Campbell, Scotland's most hated prisoner, who was also in Palmont, he'll probably be on the same wing and they'll be living together and they'll both be despised and hated by the other inmates and they will be in for a long ride through the Scottish justice system. But throughout the sentence, they will come under attack because like I've mentioned previously in other videos, if you haven't already seen them, on the it's not just there's also people that have getting up drug debts or they've getting into trouble on the main location wings and they've been put on protection and when you get put on protection you get put in with so all these lads that are down there for drug debts these are the ones that'll probably attack them and get to them first so as i said in the other one with aaron campbell even the people or the sex offenders on the wing that he's living on despise him and hate him as well. So they probably will come under attack either by someone that's got debt on the main location wing or somebody that <laughs> themselves but don't think they're as bad as these and they'll act out their own justice on them, which normally happens in prisons, especially amongst lifers who are serving big sentences and sometimes they've got nothing to lose or so they think and then they go on to attack the other inmates, especially if they want to get a bit of a name for themselves throughout the system and tell the other inmates it was me that attacked such and such, Aaron Campbell, Connor Gibson, whoever. But this is what happens in the prison system. But this is the type of things and these are the dynamics of what happens in the prison system. Now, Amber's case is so tragic and horrific and it just seems that she's been let down at every opportunity. She was let down by her parents. She got put into foster care. I don't know what life she had in the foster care. Hopefully she had a nice time, but then she went on to be let down by her brother and ultimately murdered. Jamie Stars was sentenced to 10 and a half years. Stephen Corrigan was sentenced to nine years for the violation and concealing of Amber's body. Connor Gibson was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 22 years for the murder of his sister, Amber.